Hello, good morning. Continuing with the second part of the video about ESL automation for S&P financial assets, today we are going to focus on more technical aspects for the analysis, like customizing the symbols we use and how the Python scripts work, both the historical and the update file. We will also explore Power BI details, how to import terms, teams in JSON formats, how to add images for better visuals, and how to create fit parameters to personalize our tables we like. Let's start with the ticker's CSV file. This is the foundation, and the first cell must be named ticker. Add all the symbols you are interested in. These files fit the script to download all the required require data. You can edit it in Excel, save it as CSV and upload it to GitHub. All your tickers should be listed below the header. Now let's move on the historical stock PY script, which we will run in Google Colab. First mount the Google Drive, that's where file will be saved. Define the CSV path with the tickers you want, set the output file, path for the historical stock data. The script take today's date and download the historical price from Yahoo Finance. Once finished, the full data is saved in Google Drive. You can import it into Power BI from your PC or upload it to GitHub to make it public and connect directly. Now we run the actual stock PY script. It read the tickers get the data for the past five days and filter the latest day. It build a dictionary with the info we care about for each tickers. Then it merge everything and save two separate CSV files. One is for prices and the other one is for financial info. At the end, it runs checks to confirm everything was saved correctly, even if some data is missing. It's important to organize your GitHub repository. You must have the tickers CSV file and optional the stock info CSV and the actual stock CSV file. So Python script can run properly. I recommend uploading them ahead of time to avoid errors. GitHub Actions help automate workflows. It doesn't run Python by itself. It gives it a cloud environment and a shell. We are using GitHub both as repository and executor, all for free. First of all, we go to copy the AAML code. Before that, we go to Actions tab. We click in New Workflow, then set up a workflow yourself. In order, we paste the AML code. These flows run every day at 4 p.m. It uses Ubuntu, it installs Python and all the libraries, run the script, and upload the result to the repository. Also, something that is very important is to go to Settings, Actions, General, General, and we have to enable the option read and write permission. Otherwise, the script won't save the file correctly. In Power BI, we use colors.com to define our colors palette. We pick up one that match your brand or style. We copy the Xcode and we paste them into a JSON file. We define the palette's name background, foreground, and table accent. This makes the dashboard more professional and visually consistent. After that, we go to View, Terms, and we browse for more terms. And in here, we just pick up the JSON file that we got. And that's it. We got the new palette of colors for the file. To create a segment table with dynamic columns, we use field parameters. We need to go to modeling, 
new parameters, fill, and over here we choose the columns we want. And a new table is created. We add a slicer with the parameters, use the selection inside a table visual, and this way user can choose what data to see, making your dashboard more interactive. Finally, let's import image into Power BI. We will show logos dynamically using GitHub as our image host. In Turncron data, we create a column with the base URL to your GitHub image folder. Then we concatenate it with the tigger's name and we add the PNG text. Now you have a unique URL per company. For that, we set the column as image, image URL in Power BI. It will render the image automatically. In our case, we only show one image, either the selected company or the one with the biggest market cap. But you could show multiple logos by product, region, or category, however you want, just using tables or, or multi rows cards. And with all those steps, the process is complete. We have GitHub Action Automation, Python Data Extraction, Power BI Integration, Team Customization, Field Parameters, and Image Display. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment or ask anything. I will personally reply to all your questions. See you in the next one. Bye.